In the midst of a yet another week that's shrouded by racially and politically charged tensions, the Newburgh School District holding a special board meeting tonight. Our Jenny Young is live in Newburgh with what we can expect to hear at that meeting. Jenny. Dan, Jenny, I'm told about 100 people registered to speak. This will be all public comment. We expect to hear from parents, people in the community, likely even some students. They will be telling the board their opinion about some recent actions and upcoming decisions, including that vote on the on the ban that on the, that vote on a ban that would ban, excuse me, BLM and pride flags. Some board members say they're political and have no place in school buildings. It's something that garnered national media attention. The district is also dealing with several issues that have surfaced over the last few weeks. Now, the most recent issue involving blackface. An elementary school staff member showed up to work in blackface on Friday, saying she was dressed as Rosa Parks protesting the district's vaccine mandate. Before that incident, some Newburgh High School students were discovered to be participating in a racist slave trade on Snapchat. That came after the board began discussing the ban on BLM and pride flags. Earlier today, I spoke with Yamhill County Commissioner Casey Culla about the ongoing problems in the district. This is what he told us. From my perspective as an elected official, we need to support students, their families, and teachers in getting a high quality free public education. Um, and then we need to stand up for what's right to make sure that racism and homophobia don't happen in our communities. All right, that meeting being held online, 7 p.m. tonight. Again, again about 100 people uh, registered. I just finished up an interview with one of the board members. Some of the insight that she gave me about tonight, I'm going to talk about that coming up at 5 o'clock. Reporting live in Newburgh tonight, Jenny Young, Coin 6 News.